So um, I want to talk about the analytics app, reporting for Nextcloud. My name is Marcel Chorello. I'm sales engineer with, uh, with Nextcloud since over a year now, but for many years I've been owner of several apps in the, in the community and uh, active community member. But now the, the focus for today is um, reporting with the Nextcloud analytics for Nextcloud. Analytics for Nextcloud, what is it about? Of course, as Nextcloud itself, the core is, is an open source. We are talking about the data warehousing and reporting system. Um, at the core, a very deep integration that we will see later. And of course, as every analytics, every reporting solution prioritize on visualization. Oh, wait, where's the clicker? Ah, here. Um, the core of it, of course, is all about data. We have two stages where we can base our reporting on. First, very important, real-time reporting, or we have an internal data warehouse where you can store the data, for, for example, for history, for history reportings. We have a very amount of data sources, only some examples here, where you can grab the data from for your reporting. Can be next out files, tables, forms, also external data sources. You can, you can connect to any JSON, CSV, any APIs, grab the data, and then bring them into reporting. Reporting is all about visualization. So there, of course, you can create charts, reports with tables, as you would expect, with dashboarding functionality, thresholding, uh, including notifications if certain thresholds are met. But now, this is the core of analytics that has been there over the last three years already. But today, I want to talk about the all new Analytics 5, which will basically the very the, 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 the biggest innovation of the whole Analytics app of the whole of the last years. Analytics 5, there were huge amount of changes. The first area I want to talk about is the integration. It's an enhanced integration for better reporting integration into the next cloud environment and ecosystem. As an example, Nextcloud tables. You can use analytics to visualize your Nextcloud tables. Real-time reporting on tables, on views, on any apps and any flows that you implemented using our Nextcloud tables approach. Or also Nextcloud forms. You know these customer service that you sent out with all these yes, no questions, um, customer feedbacks. Uh, use the analytics app for one page or for nice that layout, the dashboards to visualize your customer surveys. Next big change is the presentation. It's the focus on the information. Um, the analytics app got the whole new um, presentation mode, full screen presentation mode. It means like all the distracting things like navigations, report uh, headers for, from the next cloud, everything is hidden and you have an optimized presentation mode optimized for screen sharing, using them in the next cloud talk application, presenting to your team. And of course, if you want to export and distribute the reports, they can also be printed in the perfectly layout the PDF exports. Next, new topics, major news. This has also not been there before. It's the next level of data visualization. Um, in analytics, I call it panoramas. It's um, flexible dashboards that build on top of the existing reporting layer. You can come in the dashboards, you can combine reports, you can combine markup text, you can combine images, you have a layout picker, how you want to show your data, should it be like in columns and rows, how many items you want to have per page. It's a super flexible way to combine all these, uh, all these data in different kinds of reports. It has multiple multi pages, so you can just scroll to your pages and can tell real storage stories to your, um, to, to your customers. And as you frequently heard about our AI assistant, analytics is now also integrated into the AI features of Nextcloud Hub. For example, in the context chat, um, context chat is indexing Nextcloud analytics um, data. So you can ask questions about your data. You don't need to search for data, you simply request the answer from the AI assistant. As an example here, um, ask you for statistical data for solar panels in, 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 in an example here. The analytics, the, con the AI assistant gives you the answer for statistics of the last month, and in this case, answers the use case of the, of the most productive month. Also, translation. We are yesterday, the translation was enhanced even further. We can translate up to 400 languages uh, with the Nextcloud um, 
Next up, analytics is also connected to translations. It means if you create a report, you can translate the report to any of these 400 languages for your receiving a report receiver. So they get a translated report for report metadata columns um, in any of these 400 translated messages. How can you uh, use analytics? What, what's uh, some real use cases, some examples here? Um, in private, me and my wife are running an NGO. It's a Blue Dragon Children Foundation supporting kids in Vietnam. Uh, we are using Salesforce as our CRM system, system. And here we utilize analytics, which is offering a Salesforce data source. It's one of the uh, many data sources. We are extracting donation and operational cost data and can create layouted reports for our donors and contributors with the advantage that we don't need to um, purchase additional Salesforce licenses, for example, but we can do a one-to-end distribution of reporting data there using Nextcloud Analytics. Within um, Nextcloud itself, um, we use analytics to visualize UDO CRM data, so we can do reporting our leads and our sales, uh, sales data, can report on campaigns and verticals, to create um, sales reports for us internally that we can distribute and share within our own Nextcloud instance. Novis is a um, company in southern Germany. They use analytics to um, report on SAP data. SAP is extracting data, storing, in, uh, storing is as flat files in, uh, within Nextcloud. Analytics has real-time access to these um, flat files extracted from SAP and they are creating packaging lists and, and freight cockpits to be shared with their customers and with their storage locations. So everyone always has the same information, which is originally coming out of the SAP environment, all within the sharing functionality of Nextcloud Analytics. Um, recently, um, quickly mentioned before, uh, that there's now an enhanced integration for Nextcloud forms. So you can create real-time reporting of your service that, that, is, that you send out. You can do a historization to see on the re response rates of, of your reports. You can customize these uh, reports in flex reports and panoramas, and then create nice structured PDFs that you can distribute to your management to hand out the results of the service of your customer survey and um, to give professional looking reports and not these standard bar shots that are there by, de uh, by default. To summarize this, all this, the all new Analytics 5, of course, the core is the data, flexible, real-time or historic reporting. It's all about integration into various data sources, into various Nextcloud applications. It's about reporting, flexible reporting of charts and, and tables. All this can be combined in powerful uh, layouted uh, panoramas. And on top of this, there's the AI layer, which you can use not to search for information, but to ask for information that you have in your system. So well, a quick overview from my side. I'm here for the whole week, for the Contributors Week. I'm looking forward to, you, uh, to, to your feedback, to any use cases, any further suggestions. Um, please talk to me, and I'm looking forward to see you.